Indian River, Florida. A rolling throng of squad cars trails a stolen SUV. Chopper pilots keep watch overhead. I don't see how he's going to be able to run on foot off the interstate with all these patrol cars. Spike strips knock out three of the tires, but the driver keeps grinding down the highway. The carjacker is Wesley Moore. His girlfriend, Pamela Jackson, sits beside him. It's a low-speed chase, but police are afraid Moore is armed. Where's this guy going? I mean, this doesn't make any sense. He's just trying to delay going to jail, that's all. And I believe this is still going on. They try another spike stick to blow Moore's last tire. Okay, hit the sticks. Hit double sticks. There goes the front wheel. He's going to lose yeah. it. Yeah, the whole front wheel broke off from the car. Just right. 305. He's on three wheels. Hey guys, he's going to lose the whole rim here, it looks like does. Finally, the truck stops. I don't think that vehicle runs anymore. Get your hands in the air! Moore steps out. He's high on crack and emotionally unstable. He's gyrating. He's, he's pretty upset. It's Officer Patrick White's job to get the crazed driver under control. The suspect initially was saying, you're going to have to shoot me, you're going to have to kill me today. And we had to work through that and continue the dialogue, continue to talk to him and try to set, calm his nerves and calm him down. I got turned into a standoff here. He gets back in the car and kisses his girlfriend. It's a sign of affection that concerns Trooper Kent Campbell. At one point, they kissed uh, like they were getting ready to go out in style like Bonnie and Clyde. In law enforcement, we call the suicide by cop. But Moore's girlfriend suddenly leaves the truck. That's the female. That's the female. That's the female. 764. I think it's the passenger. Came out the passenger side. Oh, okay. 10 now, police are worried Moore might try to kill himself. All right, what's this guy doing now? Come on, walk to me. Come on. Officer White pleads with the man to end this peacefully. We can work it out. Come here. We can work it out if you come here. But Moore hesitates. There you go. Good job. One step. Come on, this way. Troopers take their time with him. They know he's damaged goods. We can work it out if you come here. Your girlfriend wants you to give up. Come on. Despite their pleas, Moore makes a disastrous choice. He grabs a baseball bat. He ties up in his hand. The suspect barricades himself back in the truck. Come on out of that car. Let's go home this morning. An officer makes a final effort to end this without deadly force. That looks like they may have me, all right? They're approaching them. A trooper startles Moore from the passenger side. Other lawmen charge in. Yeah, look at this. This is crazy. Have fun with him. Cops are forced to shoot the suicidal addict with a taser. 50,000 volts course through his body. I got him. I got him all. I think they're tasing him. Holy cow. Moore's handcuffed. Yet police know he's a man in need of compassion. I was trying to make a Miami. Foes turn to friends when one man is in his most desperate hour. Once that's over, then you can kind of settle down and thank God for how it ended and, uh, and appreciate your camaraderie with the guys you work with and making sure that uh, everybody gets going to their family at the end of the day. There goes the front wheel. He's going to lose that yeah. one.